Mario and I are heading out to Vegas today to celebrate my 30th birthday and I'm really excited because I've only been to Vegas one other time and that was about five years ago. So I'm really excited to experience the city all over again with the person that I love as I enter a new decade. My 20s were honestly really rough, so I'm looking forward to leaving all the bullshit behind and entering my 30s feeling really positive, strong, and excited for the future. The Uber is almost here. We gotta go. Oh, okay. We gotta go. We're heading to the airport. Are you excited? Yes, Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> In case you haven't seen anything going on in the world, there's the coronavirus scaring everyone. So the airport is super empty, which is kind of nice. When I was a little kid, I always had this really distinct vision of how my life was going to be when I grew up, what career I thought I was going to be. I wanted to be a doctor for the longest time. I remember that in fifth grade, I wrote a letter to myself and it was put into a time capsule. And I think maybe like 10 years later, our teachers actually found us and sent us the letters. I remember writing down, you know, how many kids I wanted to have by a certain age, what kind of house I would be living in. Fast forward, um, I'm 30 years old and honestly, nothing is the way I thought it was gonna be. Hey babe, this is the check-in. <laughs> Look out for the gorillas. I painted my toes for the first time in like 500 years. The Sycamore Lane Chardonnay. And do you want anything to drink? You want like an Arnold Palmer or anything? No. Life definitely didn't pan out the way that I had initially envisioned. Kind of to preface why my 20s started out, started out so rough is that when I was 18, I was put into a situation where I was forced to live on my own and I wasn't really ready. I wasn't planning on moving out freshman year of college. And even though I didn't plan that, it really helped me become independent. I had to learn a lot in a very short time, very early in life. I was really lost in my early 20s. I actually even got kicked out of school freshman year of college because I had a really low GPA. I was forced to take a break. I went to City College eventually and it took me almost 10 years to graduate school. And a big reason for that was because I just wasn't prepared in the beginning and I had to learn a lot of things a lot of things the hard way. As I was going through a hard time in school and just figuring out what I really wanted to do with my life, um, I was also having issues with family and friends and just going through a lot at once. And even though all of my 20s were really hard, eventually I figured it out and I started pursuing things that really made me happy. I really threw myself into my education and I completed my degree. Which I'm really proud of because I could have just given up, you know, I could have gotten stuck in a dead-end career or a dead-end job that wouldn't really help me thrive to my fullest ability, but I decided to fight for what I really wanted and accomplish a goal that I always promised myself I would. And I'm really happy that I did that. It really shows me that I could do so much on my own, and even though it wasn't the most ideal circumstance, I'm really grateful that I found that strength within myself, and I learned how to fight for what I deserve and what I believe in. My boyfriend is running behind him. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Need some mustard. Hey babe, do you have any of those uh, hand sanitizer things? I've been hoarding those antibacterial hand wipes. He always gets mad at me when I keep little stuff like this, but now there's an outage, or not outage, um, a shortage. So, 
They're coming in handy. Here's to the birthday weekend. We are going to munch on these delicious fries. I'm gonna finish my glass of wine and I will catch up with you once we are on the plane. We are on our flight to Vegas and I wanted to continue the vlog during the flight, but it's actually really noisy on here. So I'll see you guys when we land. We just touched down in Vegas and we are heading over to pick up our bag. We actually did a check-in together and shared a suitcase, which is like epic for us. We saved $60 sharing a suitcase, <laughs> so I'm all for it. Welcome to Las Vegas. As I've been reflecting on the last decade of my life and as I enter a new decade, I decided to actually write a letter to my younger self and I want to share it with you. So I titled it, 30 and Thriving, an open letter to a younger me. Dear Vanessa, happy birthday. You are 30 years old now. The odds have been against you since the day you were born, but you are a fighter and an old soul wise beyond your years. It will take you some time to realize this and come into your own, but once you do, you will begin to fiercely love yourself. It may be hard to see right now, but one day, you will be capable of embracing pieces of yourself inside and out that you once wanted to change. You will learn to embrace your wavy hair, light skin, and empathetic soul. You will learn to speak your truth and stand up for yourself. Listen to the inklings that you have and fight for what you believe in. Be your own advocate and inspiration because at the end of the day, the only person we can fully rely on to push ourselves is within us. The road you have traveled down may be rough, rugged, and twisted, but success and happiness is a winding journey that never truly ends. It's an ongoing process that you must trust and be patient with. Continue to follow your heart and don't allow negativity from others to consume you. Be content with letting go of circumstances and people that don't allow you to flourish into your full potential. Find solace in your solitude and nurture yourself with alone time. In doing so, you will begin to know your innermost workings, thoughts, and desires. Your self-love journey will not happen overnight, but it will happen. What is meant for you will always be yours, so, so do not fret over letting things go. You deserve the best. Don't lose sight of that. Cheers to the next decade. Love, Vanessa. What inspired me to write this is just reflecting on things I wish I would have known sooner and I'm really grateful that I went through the journey that I went through and experienced what I did because it brought me to this point where I finally really know what self-love is and I've gained confidence and just a really unique relationship with who I am inside and I'm really grateful for that. I just want anyone who's going through something similar to know that bad times don't last strong people do and as long as you're willing to fight through the difficult times and overcome them you know it's worth it in the end life is never easy for anyone we all have our own difficulties no matter what it looks like on the outside to other people but that doesn't mean that you can't overcome it we are waiting for our uber right now it's only a couple minutes away and i'm really excited to show you where we're staying this weekend
for $100 tonight. <laughs> Is that a king bed? Hey, look at this view. You know I'm all about the views. Okay. Look at that. The whole courtyard right there. That's dope. I'm looking forward to all the fun things we have planned for this weekend and entering a new decade in such a fun city. But that's actually all I'm going to be sharing for today's vlog because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas.